Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a small grocery haul and a new Dollar Tree haul. So first at the grocery store, I just picked up um, a big gallon of 2% milk. That's all I picked up. So it was nothing really to show. There's no groceries or nothing like that. I just picked up this because I needed more milk. Now for the Dollar Tree, I picked up this nice big gray, um, I love the color, mixing bowls. I used these in the past. They're really, really good. Um, you can mix anything you want in here. Um, I got this for the purpose of making pancakes because I could do the mixture in here and I could just pour it like that. So that's the reason I picked this up because um, I needed one of these. So I picked up another gray um, mixing bowl from Dollar Tree. And then I picked up one Diet Pepsi. That's all they had. They didn't have no other diet sodas. They only had regular Pepsi, the cherry regular Pepsi, Sprite, Mountain Dew, things like that. Um, I don't like the full sugar type of soda. So I just picked up one Diet Pepsi. And it's the small one. Then I saw this yesterday at the Dollar Tree when I did my other haul. Um, but I didn't grab it. Um, I decided to pick this up. This is the LA's Totally Awesome. Um, it says Floor Cleaner Green Apple. So it might smell like green apples. This is a really big bottle. I usually use regular cleaners or cleaners that are okay. They're not like the best or anything. I usually use them for outside, you know, cleaning the concrete, the porch, the ground, my steps, the backyard, the whole nine yards like that, trash cans and things like that. Um, real good cleaners like um, the ones from Puerto Rico and Mexico, the ones that I'd be buying, or um, the pine salts. I use them for the inside of my house because they smell really good. They're my favorites. So anyway, I got this to use for outside. I got that at Dollar Tree. Um, the next thing I picked up at the Dollar Tree was this Wizard um, air freshener. This is Fresh Clean Linen. So it's called Freshly Folded Linen. And I like anything to do with fresh laundry. So I picked that up. Hopefully it smells good. I'm not sure if I used that one before or not. Then I picked up a bunch of nails um, that you glue on from Sassy and, Chi and Chick um, from Dollar Tree. Um, I don't buy one box like some people because they don't have the right pairs sometimes and you might need an extra. So when I'm doing my nails, sometimes if I use the, the glue on kind, um, I have to buy two boxes each. So I picked up these beautiful um, metallic type of nails. I have a whole bunch of these in all different colors. But my, the, when I do my nails at the nail salon, I do the square tip and the long. I never tried the pointy tips before, you know, like the vampire type, like coffin type of nails. So these look similar to that. I'm not really sure. So these are like a beautiful chrome blue with a little bit of color in it. Like you, you can see the holographic color. So I picked up two boxes of those. Let me see if I can find it. So that's what it looks like. So I got two boxes of those. So that's what it looks like. They're so beautiful. And if you don't buy stuff there, they get stolen where I live at. So you have to um, buy them once you see something nice. Because once they're gone, they're gone. And a lot of people steal, so you don't get them. So I bought those. Then I bought these nails from Sassy and Cheek. Shit. I can't even I can't even talk today. Sassy and chick, and um, these are like a like a peach, and it's got like a beautiful silver peachy chrome tip. And these are like a pointy different nail. Like I figured I could give it a try. Never tried that type of style before. And then I picked up these beautiful ones. These are gold with leopard. It's got like a nice leopard print tip. Something different that I never never tried before. I don't know why my camera don't want to focus. Okay, that's what they look like. Really, really pretty. Then I got the black and the gold. I mean, the black and the silver. I'm sorry. Black and silver. And then these are the extra copies of the nails. So I got another one. The peach with the beautiful tips. Here's another leopard with the gold. I mean, gold with the leopard tips and then I got another black and silver because like I said I buy two boxes of each and they got 12 nails in each box so I got them at the Dollar Tree then they got more of these back eyes I got another one of these 
John Freeman mask. I believe this is the Manuka honey. I can't, it doesn't want to focus. So this is a cream mask. I have a whole bunch of these. So I just got another one of those because I do facials every single day. And then I picked up another strainer. This is the black rubbery, you know, the flexible kind, the flexible ones. These are really good for your sink because you can just pop them out, empty out whatever comes in the drain so it doesn't mess your pipes up. So I just picked up another extra black. And then they got more of these again. I got another John Freeman. Um, this is the Firming Hydrogel Mask. So I picked up another one of those. I have so many of them. Then this is a two-pack, guys. It comes in a two-pack. And this is the John Freeman. And I have the big tube of this. This is the charcoal and black sugar gel mask and scrub. So you put this mask on your face and then you scrub it off like scrub in the shower. Um, it's a little harsh for some people, but I love it. So this is the John Freeman charcoal and black sugar. And then this side here, it's a melting sugar. A melting sugar face mask. And that's from John Freeman. I've never seen this one before. And this is a two-pack, guys. It comes in a plastic little bag. So you find two. They might have other um, types of masks. I'm not sure, but this is the only ones that I've seen. And then I found this really nice book for baking soda. It says over 100 household tips for baking soda. And I love baking soda. I use baking soda for, like, foot scrubs. I use it for cleaning. I use it to refresh the refrigerator. I use it as a facial scrub. You could do so many things with baking soda. So I decided to pick that book up. As it looked it interesting and then also with the Dollar Tree I got this blu-ray that's called dead mine and it's brand new sealed up you got to make sure they're sealed because people open them and they steal the disc out of there so make sure you check the disc and make sure they're brand new so this is uh, dead mine I got that DVD um, and then I found this one my son said it's a Japanese horror movie and it looks really weird. It's called Pulse. And it's a Japanese, yeah, it's a Japanese horror film. I love all Japanese and Korean stuff. It's really good. Love that stuff. And then he spotted this. I'm a Beatles fan. Oh, my God. I love Lennon and I love Paul McCartney. They're like my two main favorites. So this one's called Looking for Lennon. And it shows John Lennon back here. I think it's a documentary. Um, I remember when he was shot and killed a long time ago. I love John Lennon and also love Paul McCartney. Like I said, I'm a Beatles fan, so I got that. I also picked up a box of some cherry Pop-Tarts. So I just got one. I picked up a box right here of some Alpo Prime Cuts. My dog eats this. He's not crazy about it, but he'll eat it. So I figured I'll get another box for him. And then I picked up four of these banquets, four of them, of these pot pies. They're pretty good. It's a sausage and gravy pot pie. And they're not just for breakfast. You can use them at any time. So I just picked up four boxes of these. You can heat them up quick in your microwave or the oven, and you're good to go. So I got those, and that's all I got from Dollar Tree, guys. So thanks for watching this haul. Stay tuned for more videos. Let me know if you ever tried any of these items, if you like any of these items, um, and if you found any good stuff. So anyway, subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you all guys later. Have a good day, and stay blessed. Bye.